What up, it's your boy Naftastic, and welcome back to another episode of my United series. Um, in this episode, we're gonna carry on, try and win this Premier League season or end this Premier League season undefeated. We have got a game against Fulham. Um, titles all but clinched. Do that here, and we're well on our way. I'm expecting a good result. I'm playing my youngsters pretty much now on, um, because we've got a crucial cup tie against Chelsea coming up which is the Champions League match and then we've got an FA Cup final to deal with as well so there's a lot to process uh, I'm looking forward to it but let's see how it goes it should be an interesting month that's for sure so there you go the first thing is the game is full and with us early as well and surprisingly our you know our form against them isn't as good as some of the other teams, they've actually managed to beat us a couple of times. Sorry, it was just three meetings, right? so they've beaten us once and we won twice. Uh, we're obviously wanting to add a third win to that. See what we can do. I trust my youngsters to get the job done, they've actually been very good this season. It's not been the easiest of circumstances, but they've performed admirably. Uh, admirably sorry. It's a good start by Fulham. Don't expect them to come flying out the blocks. Oh wow. Jesus. Hangerland, always one to worry about. Good from set pieces. It's poor start from us. Really need to get our asses in gear. It's better. We go. Andres Pereira, what a season he's at. Well now I want the rest of the team to chip in for this game. It's going to be a tough one. It looks like Fulham are really up for it. They're not... Oh, got lucky that was a sloppy mistake. Very unlike us. Again. Again, they're getting closer. It's worrying. Better. Better. Coming closer. See, we're not even retaining possession. This is like... The complete opposite to most of our performance this season. They're getting pressed, we're getting beaten for possession, they're holding it up well, we're not able to close them down. Look at that second goal. Gonna have to have a stern word at half time. Unacceptable. It's one of the poorer showings I've had this season, I'd say. Come on, boys, we're so close to invincibility, let's get it done. Better. That's it, hold the ball, that's it. Oh, sloppy. Giving it away again, just to play on the counter. I'm gonna put men behind the boards, get them calm down a bit, and then catch them on the break. It looks like Fulham are pressing very high up as well. So, if I can hit them on the counter, it's probably where they're gonna be most vulnerable. Oh, it's close. Good, it's better than before. Get some fresh. Get, get Hernandez to stretch their back four. There you go, keep moving it. That's it. There you have it. The equaliser. Striker's instinct that Harvey Hernandez has. Brilliant. Right. The 20 minutes. Let's go and get a winner. Get Darren Fletcher on. Give him the game time he deserves. He's probably going to be one that I sell on in the summer. Um, not because I don't know him, obviously do. Just had a hot lot of things to go through. Yes! Hernandez again with the second goal. He is on fire right now. Dude can't stop scoring. But yeah, like, like I was saying, Darren Fletcher, absolute stalwart. Without the illness, he was a certainty for the midfield. Like, if you want someone combative and was able to just drive on, he's your man. Straight play, kit straight play, kit started off with a lot of criticism. Much like Harry, but both came to the fore. Oh, we are dominating this game now. We have them on the ropes. Looks like my little tactical adjustments and substitutions has worked to treat.
they're getting close, but I think we've done enough here. Especially because we're still creating chances. Oh, is that Penno? Yes, it is. Time to finish this match. Go on, Hernandez, get that hat trick. There you go. Brilliant performance. Oh, a couple of injuries there. Control and Fletcher. It's not good. I mean, the result is great, but don't want to have any more injuries. We're having a tough time of it as it is. Had to navigate some very difficult periods. But 4-2. Uh, race to continue. Uh, invincibility continues. See if we can get it done. Are there two more games now? Getting close. It's very much within grasp. Let's do that. Yours not a fan. Oh, tough. I'm not really that bothered. So we have it. Have we won the time? So West Brom have been relegated. We've now set a record for Premier Division points. We want to add that. We want to beat the 100 point mark. And we want to go unbeaten. We want to be the, the second Invincibles. Actually, the better version of the Invincibles. We want to win cup trophies as well. Plenty of silverware. Just add to it. I'd much rather win three trophies and not go invincible though. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it was one league trophy because it's three cup wins. But that's uh, what we'll be chasing. We have to beat Chelsea, obviously, to get there. It's a tough game, but I think we're capable of doing it. Um, let's see how we get on. We've got Chelsea right up next. Um, it looks like the winner will be playing Real Madrid. But I guess that was to be expected. They have a very good squad. It's going to be very difficult. They've got Bale, Ronaldo, Di Maria, Benzema. I mean, that alone is enough to blow away any defence. Well, first things first, we have to play Chelsea. We've got a very decent record against them, considering how many times we played. And they've got only one win to their names. Um, we probably play the most because we're the best two teams in the country right now, I'd say. Um, but let's see how we get on in this game. It's a second leg, so anything really could happen. Um, but we're at home, so that's really in our favour. We hold a 1-0 advantage, which helps, but we can't take anything for granted. Decent start. We've not been overawed by the occasion. Uh, Zalalem's I'm giving him a go. I feel like he's got the kind of temperament that can handle the big game like this. And the exposure is in invaluable. It's very quiet first half. I don't mind that at all. Quiet 90 minutes, I'm happy with that. Go away with a 0 0. Fine by me. Another injury. Come on. Just can't catch a break. Go on, Adnan. I'm going to put you out wide and put Pereira through the middle. God, my youngsters are having to really do a double shift here. But I like that they play Lampard at the number 10. I mean, oh, that's a sloppy... Oh, I should have scored. Silly mistake by Chelsea there. Should have made them punish. Or we should have punished them, rather. English is just failing me at the minute. Okay. Sound first half, nothing too exciting, nothing too extravagant. Um, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Very happy with that. The more they push on though, I might just shift to a counter. Just catch them out. Oh yes! Great positioning. Pjanic has just been superb with those. Getting the second balls, those deflections, just being in the right place. That should be game to and match. Bal Balanta, guy has scored a ton of goals this season. For a centre back. Guy has cropped up more than one occasion. I'm going to play Jim Molyneux just because Hernandez has been yellow carded. Want him available for the Champions League final, yeah? Go on. Yeah, we, we have them on the ropes right now. I mean, they had a chance there, but they're going to have to be more and more open to leave them more and more exposed for me to pick up. Oh. Can Chelsea weather the storm? It's a good question. It's a good question. We are piling the pressure on. Oh! Didn't look at that. Let's bring on some fresh legs. Really make them work for this. 
tough 16 minutes for them. While giving us some youngsters a bit of exposure. Thirteen minutes ago, we are in a very good position. I mean, Chelsea only need three goals, but three goals in less than ten minutes. It's not happening now. It's not happening. We we are through to the Champions League final. There it is, Champions League final. Here we come. Real Madrid is going to be a tough one, but we have an opportunity to go back to back. That in itself is nuts. Could not have expected that. I mean, admittedly, I would have liked to see someone else. Real Madrid and Bayern are probably the two teams I wanted to avoid. But, you know, to win the lot, you have to beat the best. That's what they say. It's out for ages as well. So, a uh, team that I'm playing next game uh, is Swansea, which is the FA Cup final. They just drew to Norwich. I don't know if they rested pairs or not. But if that's any sort of barometer of how they're going to perform, should be quite comfortable when I know the FA Cup final is different kettle of fish and everyone ups their game. Especially because they want to beat us, but, you know, I should be winning that. Um, I think I was going to miss it. It's a damn shame. Oh, in Hannah says missing the Champions League final. Horrendous, but we keep our consecutive win records going. We want to continue that in the FA Cup final. Um, we have a decent record. We have a decent record against them, I think. Um, and we want to keep winning. We haven't won the FA Cup trophy under my reign yet. So that's definitely one I want to add. Um, obviously, we are on to winning a possibility of six trophies this season. But we want the famous treble of the FA Cup, the league and Champions League. We've got the league sewn up. Let's go and get the FA Cup sewn up. Going to Wembley. Doesn't get better than this. So I'm going to leave it here for this episode. And the next episode, we're going to take on Swansea. We're going to play them in the FA Cup final. And hopefully, we can bring home that silverware. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.